I'm here the bullpen a bill. One sleep but you can't sleep because you don't know what all it said we you know me I say a real jail, like, you feel me? Bad man guess who must sit in the blood clot jail. No R. Kelly, bad man. <laughs> Boom! Right, you see the face you don't know a Jeffrey back with another mother fucking story telling you know the badness go. If you're new here, subscribe. If you're not new here, just like and share. You know the badness go already. Now before we start the video, we want to big up to Adonis film so the visuals. You see how the thing look. Every time I tell him to come through, pause, him fall. You know the badness go already. I want to big up to Traffic I Live In and they sponsor that video. They say, Jay, we'll see the Andrew film in your last video. And if you look closely, you really can't see the dry scalp. You really can't see it. And I'm Jay, when you go fix it, there's no more flakes. There's no more Christmas season. There's no more snow. It's summertime now. Uh, uh, yeah, that story, that story is about me doing some dumb shit and end up in a jail and I almost get deported. So boom, let's go. This is back in 2018, 2019. I can't remember, but I know it's December the 10th. Is that December the 10th, 2018 or December the 10th, 2019? You feel me? They are Chicago, look for my family. I bring my, you know, that look, uh, that look uh, something there with teeth, my green card and teeth, my passport. Go to Chicago, so I got proposed to her. I don't know about this guy already. Niggas was in love, niggas had feelings, niggas want to go on one knee and do dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, go to the boom, I want to do the dumb shit and propose. You don't know the proposal go on good, proposal go on viral, be a sitting, 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 sitting. Now, at the time in my life, I have one friend, and my one friend did have me, and would go in the store with him. You know, Pop Smoke said, Pull up in the stores. That was me, you feel what I say? You know, intense say, Cook clutcher, anything them go for. That was me, you see what I say? So, we are going in the store with him, and take the things I want to pay for them, you know what I say? So, I don't want to say, I don't want to say, I don't want to say, I just love stealing. Oh, I steal things all the time. It's just something I do. You know what I say? It's like, for instance, me going to one gas station and a thief on M&M just for steal, I still have it. But me and a thief. You get to me and say, I'm not going to rap no old lady, I'm not going to rap no family member, but... You get to me I come from with this. Anyways, because the boom, you know, the proposal go on good, and the same day the proposal, me and one girl called Benny Hanna. So I'm going Benny Hanna now, I don't know that, we just get a look at energy, and you don't know, young love, and we still want to something spontaneous. So guess what the spontaneous thing we do? Run off on the blood clot people, them bill. I'm gonna feel this at this time, I'm gonna run China people, them go by me, you know. Father God, if I them tell me no. Anywho, we left from the store there, eh? and this up on the Gold Coast of Chicago. So anybody who know the Gold Coast know how oh, oh, this is there. We go across the road from Michigan of, I think at 900 Michigan have to be exact, one Gucci store there to Bloomingdale's. So we're going to Bloomingdale's. Bad man, I see Burberry like, whoa, I'm in love Burberry, you know. I said, yeah, man, me and my friend will come back in here tomorrow, man, before we board the flight. Bro, the next morning, I wake up early. You know, when you have school on the first day and you have a brand new clocks and you put the clocks beside you, I stop sleep, brother. With my trench coat and my Burberry scarf, I'm just a bleach to your man. Because I have fuck up the whole of Chicago. Anything I go for, you feel me? So we start from up, up. In a downtown, we start from the Zara, right at the bridge right there. So we start from the Zara and forward down. So we start at the Zara, we take two trench coats. Because here, how we do it now. One thing I mean, you know, is anything me I do, I'm going to do it professionally. I'm going to do it to my utmost best. That's just me. Because some of know that, and them time they walk with be a shopping bag, you know, be a shoes box. No shoes in them. So we look like we are shop from there. And we always have money for me, so if we feel like I, I want to look at the employee, I pray we will just say, hey, cash me out. So the man says, oh, they have money, they must pay me. We we'll buy something, we don't thief. We we'll steal, because remember, I don't thief. We use the word thief, because I don't feel that way. You know what I mean? I feel like self got to me that already. I, I don't like that word. Steal. That's the word we want to use, steal. Okay, that's better, that's better. Because so boom, no man, we left from Zara, then we're going to need my man, because we're going to need my man, because we're kind of tied to the security, but we'll get something to say to you, because you see how that too. When we see how the security are pre me, I just say, yo, it's like, it's like it turned me on. It's like, it's what I want to teeth more. I don't know, something about it, but I say, yo, now you think about that? Like, you know who me is, I'm not sure you that. That's just me, you feel me? Because you know, it's a blooming days, remember? The two of we have a flight, you know, because my dogs live in Atlanta with me, too, you know? You see me? I don't call her wife, but look at the thief. Because she had a real thief. If you don't know the story, you don't know that she had a real thief. Then, back at the yard, I ran and say, You feel me? I said, I wait for a week because I have to catch a flight. Because I'm blooming deals now, dog. We're there, we'll take up the things, you know? We'll take up the things, man. 
Yo, my dad's I say, yo, you know, it's a big man, man, it's I feel like somebody I watch with. And I always feel like somebody's watching me. And bear in mind, you know, the brother is ruthless, you know, dog. He's ruthless. I'm saying ruthless, and me and I was a coward one. The dogs is ruthless, and the man says, yeah, you, feel, you know, so I feel like somebody I watch with. I'm going to say, dog, I'm to your bad man, just great. And you know what kind of embarrassing about this? But what that thief? We already have. Oh, they are steal. My bad. Remember, I'm not a thief. I'm a stealer. In Pittsburgh, yeah, I'm a stealer. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? We well, already have. Money tried to have on the scarf for them, but we have a tech already. Sorry, I take me, I take them, forgive them, I swear to God. Anyways, got some boom, no, my dad's going to the dressing room, I'll come up back. You know, when I'm a leader going to the dressing room, like four things, I'll come back out with three. The man come back out with, a man going there with like five, I'll come back out with like one. I mean, I said, what the fuck? Anyways, me going there now, you know. Me going there, I'm doing a little thing, I'm drop something in my back. You feel me? Anyways, I walk around the store enough to make an exit. Got a blast! You swear my friend goes so boom, and come out of the store, I just hear a big foot man stay so. Hey, sir, come, come here, come here, come here, come here, come. Yes, that's a blood clot. So, me still in the store now, you know. I mean, I watch the place to see what the place is. Me still in the store now, so, me catch my coward now, I mean, I walk. Go up in the dressing room for blood clot, take off the weight name, the know. But take off the um the, the bag with the, the, the something day night. You feel where I come from? Anyways, no, I just see I want to go somewhere and grab me right this stuff. So, you know? Hey, don't make a scene, man. Don't make a scene, man. I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not good. I'm not going around. You're good, man. The man goes, no, and the man squeezes me. I said, I'm myself. What is this? Is it me? Go so no boom dog, the man them camera and I want part around the security post dog and I see on show, cell phone, video, be things. When the man goes and pop my friend bag a be blood clot, berry berry a drop out. You see me say my ask me, oh my one day, so I say oh my what day? What you talk about? I don't know anything about what you're talking about. The man goes so boom and see my one now, you see me, so me they you know me, I say, well. I have like a thousand five point me. We can pay for some of the things there. I me say me a Jamaican, I can't talk it out. But I tell the man, say, yo, we're stupid. Somebody put me on to this. We don't know better. Like, yo, we're so embarrassed. Like, I'm so fucking sorry. Like, yo, why did we do it? Remember, I'm not a papers in the dog. So, I don't want to have... When a man not papers, you don't want no involvement with the police. You know one that they didn't want a traffic ticket, brother. Nothing. Once in on the papers, you know one for you on the part of the police. Facts. Anywho, because of boom bang, skeng, skilly bang. By the time I look, the police start to see around six blood clad police come for it. We want. So I say boom bang clad. After all they negotiate with the man, I tell the man say we're sorry and take accountability. And I tell the man say we wanna do it again. Aim really. Still call police pan me. Anyways, before the police them take away, them they have to do the bill. Because with, 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 with theft charges, you have to do it by misdemeanor and felony, which is not any charge. But for theft is about the amount. So anything under 300 dollars is a misdemeanor. Anything over 300 dollars is a class A felony. No, I'm not the best liar in the world. I'm not even a liar. But you don't want to be a felon. Can't promise you that. Boom! Because you know, when the police them uncuff the dog and man them put in the truck, brother. But I'm not gonna lie, somebody clean. You would have think you're a thief, you're a thief. You would have think you're some mafia, some wanted man, and them, you know, them catch me. You know what I'm saying? Some of look like out of the, out of the blue thing. I'm not gonna lie, they look clean as fuck. Like, when you get a picture of the dog, it'll be a sick picture. Anyways, <laughs> that's it really, man. Going to the police truck, no dog, or some Hispanic police. Remember, the police truck them, nah, no cushion, bro. First thing I do, I fuck with them, and I say, oh, no cushion on the road, yeah. Oh, no cushion on the road, I'm not saying them carry a bill with cushion, my G, you can't stand at least. Reach at the precinct, no, they're the dog. Me and my, that, my dogs are on different car, so I said, hopefully, them carry them come to the same place, because I want them to tell you about trouble. You don't want in a trouble by yourself. When you're in a trouble with your friend, them, you just feel so better about yourself, I swear to God. My son fuck up, but I'm glad he did that. I'm glad he did that. Come in. <laughs> Hey, hold on, this shit ain't funny. It ain't funny, but it is. I say, yo, it'll be ever a kitchen man, catch me, I love me in for a party. Joke. Anyways, we just had a priest sitting down that the man them go to the woman, see my dogs, and the man them put me in on, on, on cell. It's a whole in cell. You see me? Luckily, I have my passport with me. Normally, I don't walk with my passport, dog. You see me? And if I never did have no eye, it could have got so left. 
if my nobody am my ID that either. So it's like God did have to prepare me for a jail. You know, weird way. First thing I'm going to jail you now with uh because it's a priest in good, you know, so it's not like a jail. It's a bookings. Basically with are bookings. You know what I'm saying? Dog and say bumbo club, the dog yeah, would have fucked me up. So you know, police upon hey, you want, to, you want me to put you in the cell with him? I'm like, no sir. Cause one thing I mean I'm respectable to authorities. You see me? So I tell them one say, yo, hey man, you just you guys are doing your job. I don't want to see, I mean, you seem like a nice guy. What you doing this for? I'm like, you know, man, I'm just dumb, man. I'm just dumb. It was a dumb move. And sometimes bad things happen for good reasons and blah blah blah. The man them, you know. Anyways, what they didn't know, the man might play some mind game pan with that. The man might ask a beer different, different, different questions. Dog. Like, where we live, all them something. Like Till them separate me and my dogs. You feel me? I bear my, my handcuff to like a bench, bro. Real jail thing, brother. Real, real jail thing, bro. Handcuff to a bench. Them separate you now. When them separate we. Must see when them call, I think it's the DA or the, the SA, state attorney or the district attorney. And them have to call the office there to see if they can charge you. The officer charge you, not police charge you. So them have a probable cause for charge you. So, my ear when the woman, the white woman, say, Yo, we're gonna let go him, which is me, because them catch me in at the store. My friend did out of the store. So, him really that thief. Like, I'm really not a thief here. Like, I was still in the fucking store. I could have taken it out and buy it. You never know. You can't prove intent. You know what I mean? I never passed or register yet. Mm -hmm. No, you have a point. Me hear no man say, yo, let him go. The one black police say, let go who? They both going to jail. Y'all are going to jail! Period! I swear to God, brother. I swear to God. And at that point, I was like, yo, like, personally, I never did really care for come out because. If me come home, could I bail him out? You see me? Because at the first time we ever get charged with anything, so we bail can't be more than fucking 10 grand. And it's a 10%, so that's gonna be like a thousand dollars. Where the black police was the worst police, bro. I swear to God, the black police are the worst police to black people. I don't know what they might do it for try to prove anything or they want to show people say, I'm not on this black lives matter shit, I'm, I'm really for justice. I'm don't get me wrong, I'm not need a leniency from him, but the lady literally said, him for leave, him good. And you, the black police, wherever you are in the world, was like, nah, fuck that. You feel me? That's how that's still. Goes to know, boom, dog, and my whole idea is, all right, cool. My friend, my friend, my friend, no money upon him. Me have some bread. What we are going to do is, we are going to just make sure, say, everybody get out at the right time. You feel me? Goes to boom, no, dog, we are going to wait, we are going to wait. Bear in mind, jail time moves super, super slow. It's like, you know when people tell you, see, you get locked up, you have for, you have for what? What them say? What them say? What them say? Ah, oh, when they get locked up, oh, 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 you serve your time? Like 50% if a state and 75% if a federal or 85%? Is a reason why them say that, bro. Because a jail day is really 36 hours. That's how it feels. You don't know if outside of sun, you don't know if outside of moon, you know if outside of breeze, you don't know nothing, bro. You don't have no sense of timing in that place, to bro. No sense of the weather, nothing at all, brother. You feel me? Go so now, dog, and the man then go to my friend and say, Hey, man, do you want to waive your rights? Me, you know, I say, yo, oh, what kind of fuck request them and my ask to my, my friend say, guess I'm going to waive my rights. Hey, sir, I'm so sorry. We are so dumb. We was... So I said, a big informer, why you tell your lad? Man can chat. Because I'm going to man to me, hey, you want to wait here? I said, nope. That's not how it is in the movies. I swear to God, that's what I said. I said, that's not how it is in the movies. I don't get a call or nothing. I don't, I don't get, a, get a lawyer or nothing. Then, you know, I said, I'm to them, but I don't get my attitude the same time because you don't know. You know, nobody can put me on a cell. I don't know why. Remember, in the back of my mind, I go bail out myself today, make my flight and come back to Atlanta. That's all in the back of my mind. I'm a friend of a bail out. My name goes to know I'm bring me around now for fingerprinting and everything. My name fingerprinting, mug shot right here. See the mug shot here. My name mug shot, I screw up my face and my lip them white. Nah, be white, it's called it on my lip, bro. But just to, ugh, you feel me? My name goes to, and I say, yo, so where do I pay my bail? What's it? Pay your bill? I said, bro, go grab a fucking bed. You're staying here for court in the morning. I said, court in the morning? 
I said, Bumbo Cloud, kill me dead, nobody not gonna know what happened. I just tell them to my phone, they lost, and they look at my phone downtown and whatever. By the time I reach now, my cell now, I have like a cell by myself. If you know me, I say, what's who describe the cell to? No? I have a cell by myself. I see my friend in front of me, a female person. I say, I'm on the phone, yo, home girl, no. I thought home girl, the wifey at the time. Wifey, no, I'm going. So I said, Bumbo Cloud, go to the house, yo. Officer, officer, can I get a call? Get a call. Call my family, I call them. They figure out something to get locked up. Because they know me I do. How many up to? So they call her and they find out how many there. Um, call her and they call Yo, babe, yo, get me out. Please, yo, get a lawyer for me. Please, like, yo, blase, blan. You know, she, she come true. But she never get a lawyer, but she was there for me. You know, she was supportive. My family was supportive. Anyways, my cousin, my cousin, I'm a jailbreak cousin. So in my system, she might tell me, say, yo, you're gonna go to 26, uh, you're gonna go to Cook County um, Jail, you're gonna see the judge, you're gonna get an eye bond, it's your first job, blah, 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 you don't have to worry about it, you're cool. Remember, we get locked up at least, we get locked up from like 1 p.m., bro, so that had a whole day thing, you feel me? They didn't know, they didn't know that we had talk through the thing, the bed or what, but better me be out it so fucking stink, stink, you have a fucking um, sink attached to a fucking tile, bro. And the water, you come onto that, tastes like literally, can taste marble in it. Oh! Ew! Dude! Yeah, sleep, yeah, wake up, yeah, yeah, wonder what time you have. God, they're supposed to come pick you up at five, isn't it? Yeah, you just asleep, yeah, wake up. You don't know the sense of time, nothing. Nobody don't talk to you, nothing. Fuck. No, and then we get our next jailer. Jayla come in and the man and bang the place. Yo, let me the fuck out. Let me the fuck out. Let me the fuck out. So me and my dogs are worried when they knock out. I say, yo, John, no dogs to the mad dog. Yeah. Let me tell them about real mad dog. So me and say, blood clot. I eat this now. So you remember the bad boy, I'm telling you, so this see? And my boy, this say, if, 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 if they want to put me in a cell with him, my ear, him say, man, shut the fuck up, nigga. What's fucking wrong with you, man? I'm BD. So BD mean black beside the police and I said, Jesus Christ, I have to try that gang. Man, but man, fuck you, nigga. Fuck you, bro, bro. Man, I said, man, when I get here, I'm gonna fuck you up. So I said, Bumbo Cloud. Yo, me and my dogs are going to roll it in. I said, Father God, please make there be a shower pussy in this jail where I can go join. Please. And I tell the man, I said, I'm going to get man, I'm going to know this person and that person. You feel me? Anyways. Got some good man, he used to like rant and race. The man, the pun, yo, he's a, he's a mad man, I'm really mad. He's like in bipolar. The man, bro, bro, it's my first time in here, I don't know what to do. So the man, the pun, bitch ass nigga, what the fuck did you do? The man said, I hate my girlfriend. The man said, Yeah, you going to jail? You <laughs> feel me? Anyways, now, fast forward, morning time, 5 a.m., cool, cool December, Chicago, bro. We are the first stop uh, where the party van comes. You know, the party van, they bro, like party wagon. I said, What it? Party wagon. Bro, we're going to that bad man, them handcuffed me and my dogs together. And them handcuffed other man by themselves. Isn't it? Because I guess we get up on the same charge, so them handcuffed we together. Bro, we had the van cold. The van cold. Cold, 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 brother. Yeah, sit down for the steel. Yeah, sit down for the steel. The van is so fucking cold, bro. The youth, the, the, the mad one, the, the, I'm not mad. They really look mad like it's a big vein in them area. So whatever them, whatever him did do, him did really do. He did that shit. Guilty as fuck. Anyways, now, we in the van now, they must stop at other jail, not jail, other lock up. I take up the people, they feel me, they take up the people, so everybody silent now, you see me? But before that, they said, bro, they are spit, spit, spit on the floor. So me, I said, dog, bro, if anything you have, I'm going to beat up the youth here in the brother, because if we beat him up, we need him to really up, because you don't know what jail thing already, you know what I'm saying? That's what Jamaican niggas, bro, them niggas crazy, bro, I see what them niggas did. <laughs> Anyways, you, they calm down, because I'm going to check him, I'm going to, yo, bro, stop that bitch shit, and just they chill. Anyways, now, the van full. So, when the van full, the van just get quiet, dog. No man now say nothing to no man, you see me? Just hear a man say, so what you are in here for? Be a man start tell them charge, who have gun charge, who have this a charge. Be a charge, you know what I say? Credit card, debit card, you name it, it's be a charge. Man, they reach to we and we, are, we just tell the man, we say, man, we was just doing some dumb shit, bro, you feel me? Go cross, go cross now, you have be a lawyers in the van, I didn't know that. Be a man, what you did? First time, I ban. Cause what's an I ban? Niggas don't know. Chicago jails are so full. An I ban is a ban that the system pay for you. 
you don't have to count a pocket. You don't pay nothing at all. You don't pay 10% on that. D bond now is a bond where you have to pay the 10%. With the I bond, if you like, like petty offenses and normal crime or first time offenders, get the I bond. So everybody I talk about the I bond, I say, yeah, the I bond is one of the something want, you know, you feel me? Reach there now, bro. It's at 2600 South California Avenue, Chicago. I think I got that the address, bro. Can't forget the fucking address there. Go there now, bro. You have to take off your lace. Yeah, for bag of things, bro. Go through metal detector. This nigga was like, nigga touch me. Like, hey, man. I'm like, hey, boy, my ass. Points. And so, bro, I got some coke in my ass. I'm like, all right, all right, bro. All right, bro. And the brother was the same bad dog from the jail, you know. You feel me? Because even them man, they come out, them man, they live in jail, bro. Like, but for the fun, fun, um, fun joke aside, I'm not gonna lie, he kind of broke my heart when he did jail, bro. Because black people are really. 10 to 30 percent in this country and there was just black people in the jail bro i swear to god bro it was like two white youth and when they do i was a trespass you feel me the uh, the biggest the biggest person in there in terms of crime was this some niggas get caught in 100 pound of pcp or whatever that drug is 100 pound of opioids or some dumb shit like that them they have lawyer anyways when you go in a jail no bro you go in a beer bullpens you feel me? Beer bullpens with different, different jailers. Everybody are waiting for see the judge. That, that, that. They didn't know, bro. They didn't know, bro. Everybody at all. Tell the money so that he's bro. We tell one man. By the time we look, bro, the whole blood clap place knows so that he's bro. Man say, yo, you got the more burberries on you, boy? Man, I need some of that shit, yo. Da 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 Be a man to suck them pants because you're not on a belt. You can't have no belt. You know, you can't hang yourself or you can't choke them under the belt. So be a man to suck them pants and be a things that be a joke around there. The man must say, man, you look like fucking Steph Curry, bro. You look like Steph Curry at an All Star game, bro. You just so fucking fly. What you doing in here? And like my OG see me like, man, y'all don't see something, bro. Y'all different, bro. Y'all not supposed to be here. I was like, right, not to fuck be here, bro. Anyways. They didn't know. Them got some boom man. You have to give them your information and you're going to meet with a PD. That's a public defender. When you meet with a public defender, they're not going to tell you no. The man is looking at you like, okay, I'll see what I can do. Don't care. That's why if you're going to do crime, which I advise nobody for do. Jesus Christ. Up to the crime. So yeah, go so boom now, you got the public defender that the public defender is not going to tell you shit what you want for here, brother. Remember, just look for it. They may give a fuck about you, dog. If you're going to do crime, brother, have your lawyer money, brother. Because when you have a lawyer, bro, no, no, there's so much benefits of having a lawyer, bro. When you have a lawyer, number one, the judge takes you more serious. The prosecutor, prosecutor takes you more serious. Everybody takes you more serious. And you get to leave jail first. No people don't know that. Well, me and I know because now I'm in jail. Brother, this now is part of the story. Of the where we just get crazy. They move me to one bullpen. I'm in the bullpen a bill. One sleep, but you can't sleep because you don't know where I hold it. Said we, you know me, I say a real jail. Like, you feel me? Bad man, guess who must sit in at the blood clot jail? Now R. Kelly, bad man. Bumbo clot. I say, Father God, what is this? me see R. Kelly, me I say, Bumbo clot at the genius. Nobody know how to talk to the jail. The man come sit down like, Somebody sit on your son, the man sit on right there, so brother. You see me, and like a one man goes on and say, Yo, man, what the fuck you doing in here, man? And like, everybody know the fucking they are doing this. I think I'll be pissing on kids, you know what I mean? I said, Go so boom, no dog, and everybody said, I talk to the man, so I say, Yo, da da da, the man say, Yo, where you from? I tell him, Jamaica. The man say, Man, love dance all, man. Love dance all. The man say, Yo, uh, what's his name? Elephant Man. I love Elephant Man, man. Elephant Man used to always remix my songs. Elephant Man was like, what, 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 what is the song name about remix? Um, bad Man, a Bad Man. Hand me the red. Man, I said, love Elephant Man, dog. Me, I said, Bumbo Clot. Big, big R. Kelly. Me, I tell you, say, yo, dog. To all the man of the jail that we bro. Nobody never remember say I rape my rape completely, dog. I swear to God, bro. Everybody love up R. Kelly on the blood clot for this, bro. Till they move him. Maybe for like five minutes. This is a, a duration like five minutes. You feel me? I say? Anyways, no. After the whole R. Kelly starts with me, I tell my man that my daughter say I be alive. I tell the man and verify say, yo, R. Kelly, he had the cell in me. You see me? Go so boom now, dog. Time for go, um, go see the judge. 
brother, you in the, you, you wait so long for see the judge, bro. If you hear your name call, it's like you need that, bro. For just hear your name call for see the judge, brother. And you still have a fret because it's them give you a demon if you have the money. You have the money. They don't take all my money, you know. They take all my money by right as a jailer. You supposed to have at least five hundred dollar on you. They've left you with at least five hundred dollar by right. They never them take all of my money. We don't know why, but they take all of my money. Anyways, though. Go so boom no that long, the one name call. Prosecutor say, yo, your honor, we're not gonna request bail for them people yeah, because they're not live here, they live in Atlanta, plus they're Jamaicans. The woman said, Do you want to notify the Jamaican consulate? Me I said for them book in the newspaper. I said, no. No, your honor. You hear me? PD and you know, the shit for me, then let's look to the judge. And go so boom and them said 25,000 bond. But they never said I bond or D bond. They just said bond. So me I said 25,000 each. That sounds like 2 5 for me and 2 5 for you. I can't find the 2 5 for me. But man, I can't find the 2 5 for you. So I said, yo, Janu, I can't leave my friend in there. And really, and truly, I think I get left in there too because I don't think one girl has 2 5 for her. I know my cousin. And then my nigga said, brother, you do the crime, do the time. Because you know, go back around, you know, that we're afraid, that we're afraid. Everybody has to say, what's wrong with y'all niggas? Man, y'all niggas good. I'm like, nah, bro, I don't know if it's an I bond or a D bond. It's like, Man, it gotta be an eye bro. So they didn't know, bro. Be a man a combat dog. And it's like the man them just just look sad, bro. You see me? Yeah, you have niggas in here, they're so institutionalized. The man them know the system. So man's yo, man, I got a D-Bone, I ain't got no fucking money. Dress me up. Yo, dress me up. But dress me up means you put out the jail clothes now. Dress me up. The man must be a nigga, yo. And was yo, Kian! Did you ask nigga? I told you I was gonna be like up in here. Fuck you talking about him. What you? Come on up, clear my shit, clear my shit. That's how much the man them no jail and just in the system overall. Um, now, the scariest part about jail is me didn't really fret about that. Why am I worried about my I band or D band? There were some homosexuals in that bitch, bro. The man there stepped to me, bro. Like, stepped to me. The man there had the bullpen, you know. The man them were just a walk. I yeah, literally see jail as a walk at the same time, you see me? The man them had stepped to me like, you. I'm coming for you. I'm being real with you because I heard about you. I was waiting on you at the door. Say the moment. I'm gonna see you. You oh you tall. You tall. Look at this dress. I'm like, me not say nothing. I don't want a man to hear my accent and the man say, oh yeah, I'm coming for you. God brother, the man might tell me about one thing. What do you see from blood to when you spit in the butt? Open. Spit in your butt. Spit in your butt. I want them to see the thing from Vlad TV because when they are telling them they believe. But the man them all your bro, bust your cheeks open and spit in your body dog. Oh shit, CJ. Pause, pause. Pause. I pause. My son away, what I got that the man them do, bro. You feel me? I mean I say, oh Jano, you can't fight in the me nobody boy, you know, so that gully reach me, you know. Me, I'll be honest with you, I'm not afraid. See you, I'm not afraid. Anyways, you go so boom on them call on them. Oh, see me I forget so much thing, bro. When you there, when you got a court too, and your name call, your family have to stand up. Cause you see if your family don't stand up and the judge don't see you have people here for represent you, you might not get bail. Because the see you now know if you go. That's big. Um, go so boom and get the D bond, no, the I bond now, free release now that my smell is so stink. I forgot back at the precinct and get my belongings. You know where I come from. I got to sub up, I see the cell look a batty boy. Um, I'm say batty boy. Now he's batty boy as an endearing term. Look a batty boy, police boy, look a black one. Um, go to one get to things in bro. When I got caught, uh, got caught, bro. them they give you like a thing or like probation basically, like six month probation. When I forgot like some community service, whenever I end up in like, Atlanta, Atlanta, uh, we got caught and them, them they got throw out the case, but them said no, they want to give you six months non supervision probation and. Yeah, that did done and whatever, whatever, bro. And they kind of like, they kind of follow you, you know. You think this process is getting expunged now. But them things that kind of follow you, and this is a misdemeanor, it wasn't a felony. And what they both get the same charge and thing. They get a lawyer upon the case whenever they make a sense, a lawyer just take the money and, and just give one. That would be, me, they try to beat the charge. Me, personally, they try to beat the charge. Me, never did in the store. You feel me, but yeah, bro. And more of the story is don't clutch. Don't clutch. I know intense songs sound very good. Couple culture, anything go back. It sounds very good, but don't do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, bro, 
but really, really could I get deported because the judge literally tell me, and I don't know if I can find a transcript to see if I lie, me I tell. The judge literally tell me, say, you know, these actions can get you deported. But I never really worry because Chicago is a sanctuary, what do you name sanctuary? Sanctuary city? One of them is still like New York where you can't get deported. Like illegal immigrants are protected. And that was that, bro. And big up to everybody who like the, you know, the, 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 the situation with me, who helped me out, Papa son, my ex, because she is my ex. I'm not a bad blood with her. You know, I'm some shit more. I'm not a bad blood with her. She had to live her life. She had to do her thing. Cool. Um, but yeah, that's the story, man. That's the story, bro. That's the story. That's the story. That's the fucking story, bro. So, big up on yourself, all who stay tuned. Big up everybody who watch. Big up to Tropical I Live In for sponsoring this fucking video. You don't know. Link in the description, promo code JD10. Big up to Adonis Phil for all his power through the bad visuals, and that's the story.